Police tonight are looking for a 23-year-old accused of committing bias crimes against a Portland State University foreign exchange student. Now, investigators say Jasmine Campbell ripped the headscarf off that student and tried choking her with it. Let's switch to our Jenny Young. She's been on the story all day. And Jenny, I know you found out that Campbell then ditched her court hearing that she was supposed to show up to today. Jeff, Jennifer, yes, she did skip out on a hearing, according to police, but it was not uh, related to the incident, uh, to the uh, reported attack. It was for another crime unrelated to this incident. But this happened back in November. Police are saying that the young woman uh, that was attacked, she no longer feels safe. She no longer wants to wear her headscarf. It's really about her relationship with God and her creator. Dr. Anjabin Ashraf is speaking about the hijab, a head covering worn in public by some Muslim women. Something that is a beautiful internal connection to God is unfortunately being turned into something that they are being targeted for. Portland police say on the evening of November 11th, Jasmine Campbell was at a mag station in downtown Portland when she spotted a young Muslim woman wearing a headscarf. Police say she ripped it off the woman's head and tried choking her with it. The victim, a 24 year old from Saudi Arabia and a student at PSU, watched as Campbell continued to reportedly desecrate the scarf. Police say Campbell stripped off all her clothes except for a leather jacket and then rubbed the hijab on sexually intimate parts of her body. Court documents say a patrol officer in the area showed up and saw some of what was going on. There were also witnesses who called police. After being read her rights, Campbell told officers she wanted to show the victim that she did not have to be Muslim and that religion doesn't define her. When I first hear that, I think of this narrative that Muslim women need to be saved. Ashraf believes in cases like this one when people act out of hate and misunderstanding, it undermines our right to peace and liberty. We're hearing more and more from Muslim youth and Muslims um, in the U.S. of having to make this really hard choice between safety and their faith. And that's just a decision or a choice that nobody should have to make. So the DA's office saying that they will charge her with two bias crimes, strangulation, um, and a few other charges. We'll definitely let you know when Portland police catch up with Campbell. Reporting live tonight, downtown Portland, Jenny Young, Coin 6 News. Jenny, thank you.